Hi, this is Pete at Bergsberg Arcade at BergsbergArcade.com, and we're still in tutorial 243. We're still in the character customization, uh, but this is part uh, M, I believe. I believe we just did L. And in this one here, we're going to go look at ways to actually change the texture that we actually have for our faces. And I believe this is actually the last one we have for our character customization. Uh, now, I really do encourage you to go back and watch all those videos that we did do on... Um, creating all these scripts because we did quite a few uh, different variations and the main purpose of it was to show how to swap out different uh, uh, game objects or different meshes with your character and also change the materials on these meshes uh, that was kind of the whole point of the, the that section of the tutorials so let's go ahead we're going to open up unity and I just want to quickly go over and just take a look uh, so as you can see here we have ways to interact with our mesh right we can scale it we can rotate it uh, we can add things to our mesh by flipping around with things I can't remember how many I added uh, there we go uh, we can swap materials on the meshes that we're adding and keep an index to those uh, changes that we're making as we switch through different meshes uh, we can go ahead and actually just change the skin or sorry a texture to uh, other game objects or meshes uh, let's go ahead and actually add our character ahead at least the ability to change it now i've already gone ahead and added two of the faces down here oops that's the yep yeah, that's faces now, i've only added two and you see how long it took to do the two so i'm not going to go ahead and do the other i don't know 60 or some odd different uh faces that come with it uh, two should be enough to give you an idea. Again, here's the format you're looking at. Uh, so I'm going to need something else in my scene. So I'm going to go ahead and create uh, what haven't we used. Uh, we haven't used a cylinder yet. So I'm just going to drop a cylinder in the screen. I'm going to have to move it off to the side so it doesn't um, get in the way. I guess I could make that smaller. Let's see if we can actually see it. That's the most important thing, so if we can see it and click it. So there is an empty space where we can't actually click on it. All right, so I'm going to take the cylinder. Uh, come over to my scripts and I'm just going to quickly go through and make sure that we have gone over all of these. Now the hair we don't actually have to go over it because if you take a look at it it's um, not a model behavior. We don't actually attach it to anything. Um, and it's just being referenced through the character or player character or player model customization script. Uh, but it looks like we've done everything else. Only thing left is the head changer. So I'll grab my cylinder and I'm just going to drop the head changer on it. There's no properties exposed over here. So I'm just going to go ahead, load it up, and I'm going to rotate my character a bit because I find it just a little bit easier to see what's going on here. Uh, I'm going to give him dark skin, and then I'm going to come over to our cylinder here. And if you notice, I don't have any hoverovers for it. Uh, if you really want hoverovers for everything, go ahead and take a look at the way we did these. And that will give you a, uh, an idea of how to change the color and give you a good start on being able to change things. Maybe you want it to glow or something like that. But... Uh, It'll give you an idea of how to change stuff. Anyway, so we'll go ahead and we'll click this. And boom, you know, he changed um, faces. Maybe I actually should have left them facing forward. There might not actually be that much difference between the two. And of course, we go on to the third one, and there is no third face down there, so it doesn't actually load a material up. Uh, let's just take a look. Let's rotate them this way. Whoops, this way here a bit. I'm going to make them a little bit fatter and taller. Uh, just to make them bigger and uh, we'll go ahead and we'll click uh, so there is a bit of a change but uh, if I had more down there you probably notice a little more of a drastic change but really that's all there is to it uh, you can go ahead and open up the script take a look to see what's all going on in the script I don't think there's actually that much uh, nope we're just detecting the most down and increasing the index in our player customization script which is the main script for the scene uh, now with that said with everything that's actually being done in here I already know that after I'm done my game, uh, like right now I'm just prototyping, so I'm really just trying out different ideas on how to uh, get things to work. So the code that I'm writing right now isn't necessarily the most optimized or the, or the most functional code possible, and quite likely when I come through and revamp everything, I'm probably not going to use a whole lot of this code. But the the, the important thing is the, the idea behind it, uh, to, just to get something that actually is working. And now that I'm pretty much done with the character customization scene. Sure, there's a few more features I want to add, like a zoom in camera and maybe, you know, obviously a better layout and stuff like that. Uh, but I got the basic scripts done and the basic idea of how I want it to work. 
I can actually sit down now and take a look at all these different scripts and see exactly um, the functions that I'm using over and over. Uh, really kind of like flush out the script so there's I'm not wasting so many cycles and that. Make, make it more efficient. And of course, uh, better to look at. Uh, but anyway, that's pretty much it for this scene. We're going to be moving on to the actual tutorial scene next. And there's not really a whole lot we're going to be doing in that one. Uh, again, this, the scripts are pretty much all ready complete. Uh, this scene by far is the longest. Uh, but anyway, I hope you're enjoying it. And uh, leave some comments down below on what you uh, think of the series so far. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.